Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. This time out, a virtual version of Line 6's powerful Helix platform. Let's get started. Today we're checking out Line 6's new Helix Native software. Now this is a virtual version of the popular Helix floorboard modeling processor. It includes all the sonic capabilities of the hardware, and yet it's available in a convenient form factor right inside your Mac or PC. Helix Native runs as a plugin inside your DAW of choice, whether you're working on Mac or PC. Today I'm using Studio One from PreSonus. So I have an instance of Helix Native opened up here inside of Studio One. Let's take a tour. We have eight set lists inside of Helix Native. Now a set list is basically what Line 6 calls a bank of sounds. So if we look here, we've got Factory 1, Factory 2, we've got five user banks, and then the last bank is templates, which make it easy to create your own presets. Inside each set list, we have up to 128 presets available, so you can have a lot of sounds on board. One of the great things about Helix Native is that the presets are 100% compatible with the hardware both ways. So you can create sounds in the Helix hardware, send them over to the Helix Native plugin, or vice versa. This makes it very easy if you have both formats, using one in your studio and taking one out live. To load up a preset, we simply double click on it. When we do that, we see the blocks that are available here. So we have volume, dynamics, which would be compression or limiting or a gate, distortion, EQ, delay, and in this case we have an amplifier plus a cabinet, and then reverb at the end. We can turn those individual blocks on and off to modify our sound, or as we select a block, it becomes available for editing down here. We can change the type of effect here in this column, so we can go from distortion, dynamics, EQ, modulation, delay, reverb, and then all of our different types of those individual effects are available here. So if we go back to our distortion, for example, we have a variety of different modeled fuzz boxes, overdrives, and distortions here. We've got everything from an 808 to a Centaur to an OCD, lots of different choices here. Whichever model you choose, the controls are available here on the right side. There are a ton of different models available inside Helix Native. You can see how many distortions and overdrives we have here. As far as dynamics processors, we've got compressors and gates, variety of EQs, modulation effects, which would be tremolos, choruses, phasers, flangers, all sorts of different modulation effects are available here. Delays, everything from simple delays to modulated delays, swept delays, ducking delays, reverse, all kinds of different things here. A lot of different reverb types, pitch and synth effects, filters, wah effects. When it comes to amplifiers and cabinets, you can either choose a combination amplifier and cabinet set, or an individual amplifier in an individual cabinet. This lets you mix and match however you like. If we look at the combos, here we have a Supro, a Tweed combo amplifier, scroll down, we have a jazz chorus, and so on. Now if we go to our amplifiers, we have all the individual ones available here as well. Tweeds, Black Faces, Marshalls, divided by 13, we've got a Jazz Chorus again, Vox style amplifiers, Matchless, all kinds of different amplifiers available. We also have separate preamps available that you can use in front of an amplifier, and a wide selection of cabinets, everything from a 1x8, 1x12, 2x12, 4x12s, 4x10s, 1x18s if you're doing bass sounds, 2x15s, so lots of different cabinets available here as well. But our final effect block that's available to us in Helix Native is volume and pan. Two things that aren't available in the Helix Native that of course are available in the hardware are the looper and send and return. There's no use for either of those inside the software because we can do that inside our DAW. However, they're here in the list so that things are compatible as you go back and forth between the hardware and the software. Let's move back and check out some of the factory sounds. In the first bank, we mainly have amplifier emulations. For example, our first preset is a Fender Twin. Next up, we have a Vox AC30. A Plexi. A Rectifier. JCM800. and so on. Lots and lots of different amplifier models here to choose from. And then you can sweeten those with effects however you like. When we move to Factory Bank 2, we have more process sounds, as well as sounds that recreate the tones that are used in popular songs. There are even synthesizer type tones.
tons of different tones available here. But it's also very easy to create your own sounds. Let's move to one of the user banks and take a look at how that works. The user banks basically include empty presets. So let's select 1A here. The preset is totally empty. We basically will hear our direct guitar. Now we have two choices. We can either load up an amplifier that's inside of Helix Native, or we can choose an impulse response to process our signal. So first let's choose an amplifier to get things started. We'll scroll down here and pick our amplifier. I'm going to choose a deluxe on the normal channel. You can see that all our controls are here. We have drive, which would be our gain control. We'll bring that back a bit. Bass mid treble controls and so on. Now if we add another block, we can put a cabinet in here. So let's choose a cabinet. We'll go with a matching uh, deluxe one by 12. You can see we have the option of choosing whatever microphone that we want. A lot of different types there. The distance of the mic from the speaker, high and low cut filters and so on. Once we have our amp and our cab dialed in the way that we want them, we can start adding effects. So let's create another block afterward and we'll put reverb in there. So let's choose a room. We can set the decay time, the pre-delay, we'll bring that up a little bit, make the room seem a little bit bigger. Low cut's fine. And let's turn our mix down a little bit. To add another block, let's move our verb over and we'll put a delay in. We'll go with a modulated delay. Now we have a lot of options for processing in front of the amplifier as well. If we move everything over, we can add stomp boxes in front. So for example, if we want to add a Klon Centaur, maybe we want to add a compressor or an EQ. Let's add an EQ here, a simple EQ. Bring the lows down a little bit, bring up the mids, and so on. It's very easy to create your own sounds from scratch. Just save it to the user bank and it's available whenever you open up Helix Native. Helix Native is of course intended to process your guitar to give you great amplifier and effects sounds. But these effects sound so good, you can use them on your other tracks as well. Let's take a look at using a reverb on a drum track, for example. So here, for example, we have battery from Native Instruments, and we've got a 606 style kit loaded here. What we can do is actually open up our list of effects, come over here to Helix Native, apply that to our track. Let's go to a new preset. And in this case, we're just going to put a reverb. We'll put a plate on there. Go back to our drum kit. So you can use all those great sounding effects that come with Helix Native to process your vocals, process strings, synthesizer, bass, whatever type of instruments or sounds that you have inside your session, Helix Native makes a great one-stop processor for all of them. The hardware version of Helix has been extremely popular because it produces great sounds, it's easy to use, it's portable, take it to the gig, take it to the studio, wherever you need awesome guitar tones, Helix is a great solution. But for recording, having the Helix Native plugin inside your DAW is even more convenient. Just sit down, plug your guitar into your interface, start playing. You've got all those tones, all of those sounds, all those effects right at your fingertips. Really a great solution, whether you own the hardware or not. You don't have to have the hardware to use the plugin. They're certainly independent. If you have both, it's even better because you can send sounds back and forth. Use Helix Native to create all the sounds for your session. Then when you're ready to go on stage with your band, simply port those sounds from Helix Native over to the hardware and you're ready to go. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Helix Native software from Line 6. Really an incredible processor for guitar players and for all studio applications. Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more guitars, more amps, more effects, and we'll be making lots of music. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Mm -hmm.